Hey guys, thank you so much for watching, either for coming back for more or for checking it out for the first time. This is a good one because uh, even though I like talk about makeup and stuff, this is the first one where um, I'm actually putting it on and talking through it. So it is my go-to look right now. Oh. I kind of meant to change positions because the window is over there and this side of my face is super dark. It's better when I'm over there talking through everything, just so you know. So have patience for this intro. Um, but it's like if I don't have inspiration or I'm in a hurry, because it's pretty easy and quick, um, or I'm going to work or whatever, this is kind of what I grab and just do. Uh, they're pretty much, it's all pretty much okay it's all makeup geek colors except for maybe under my brow bone I did Kat Von D uh, but and it's like mauve purpley colors because with dark brown eyes purples and blues really bring them out and it just looks uh, really good especially maybe on a more olive skin tone um, you know everybody has their color that they love to put on their eyes because it really complements them and their skin tone and their eyes and this is mauve is really one of my most favorites um, so we will talk through that um, so it's just eyes there's a completed look at the end this that you can't see too well because of the dark um, and then I will first show you really quick what we've done to the office slash vanity room it's an even bigger disaster because we just painted so everything's in the middle but it's looking good and we're getting there um, and then I just wanted to I could put my hair up in a ponytail I couldn't even believe it it's so cute it's just this little tail hanging down here thank you so much please subscribe I really appreciate it and thanks so much for watching keep watching so here is the office so that's actually my gray wall um, it's a really nice light gray that we painted it and then over here we painted it black <clears throat> Nick was like you really want to paint it black but I saw a few offices on Pinterest with an accent wall of black and I really liked it so I was pretty sure that that was going to be the right choice and it does it looks really good in here I'll give like a full shot so yeah my vanity's back over there it's a little less cluttered because I'm putting these little kind of cute shelves up um, I still have a bigger one to put up down there and then I have another one as well but yeah, so that's what we've done. See, everything here in the middle is piled. So we're going to reorganize everything. Um, and he has to finish the desk. So that big piece of wood over here, he's going to lacquer it and um, just finish it up. And that will be our desk. And then I can start doing my mirror and the rest of my vanity which will be the funnest part I'm saving that for last to show you guys what we're gonna do so he also made this little end table here so that's kinda what the desk is gonna look like more so that is all very rustic-y rustic -y, it's rustic he burnt the wood to give it that look so that's what he's gonna do with the desk as well but he is going to go ahead and lacquer it as well so it's more desk like I guess um, and then here's the whole office that light coming in that window is like whoo wow but yeah so it looks really nice it looks really good together it's just a mess so I have my camera all rigged up and sitting on like some tape and stuff to get it angled right um so hopefully it doesn't fall so here we go so if you remember like in my first video i was saying how 
the one thing that I want to spend money on is brushes. Um, I actually went ahead and bought um, an E40 from Sigma and then uh, the E25 um, and a couple other things but uh, these are my main two that have like just completely changed my life. Um, even like lower quality eyeshadows um, you see a huge blending difference with these. They make a huge difference. They help a lot. I love them. So anyways, let's do this. This is my go-to look. So, and I always start with my eyes. That's why the rest of my face isn't done so that I can clean up around the edges. I do have a little bit of mascara on because um, I had to go to work this morning. So everything's not like perfectly nice and neat and clean, but I did try to take it off for the most part. It's pretty good. So, Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Comes this first dip, comes off uh, a lot. I don't know if you can see it, so I pretty much use this for both eyes. You go all the way up to the brow, you're putting shadow up there too, so it's gonna need it. Blend it out a little bit past the brow and the eye to blend it in with the skin so there's not a harsh line because once you put the shadow on and everything, you'll see that harsh line because this makes a huge difference with the shadow. And then I just blend it with my finger because as you saw, it was very liquidy and thick. And then I use just like the back side of it where there's still some product and do this side. All right, so like I said, it's very liquidy. I just kind of fan it to help it dry really quick. Kind of try to look down so that I don't get any creasing. I have uh, very droopy eyelids, so it will crease. All right, so the first color that I'm gonna go ahead and start with is this very, I'm gonna try to look it up and see what it is. Um, the name fell off the back. Um, it's this kind of a lighter purple lilac-y color. Almost like a touch of taupe, but it's pretty tone of purple down under there. So I take the U40 and I do like a little circly motion to pick up a lot of it and I don't even tap it off. I just put that right on there. This color, especially with that eyeshadow primer on there, you almost can't even really see it. But it makes a good base for the rest of it to go on smoothly. Other side. And then I actually do it again. So I do two coats of this first one. And I always blend like this upper edge and this lower edge, even though you can't see it. it makes me feel better because any other color I'm doing the exact same thing. So windshield motions and then circles. Buff that upper edge and the bottom edge. Holy cow. All right. Maybe get a tiny bit of the shadow off the E40 and then I just take it again, dip it right into the next one. So this is unexpected. So it's kind of the same tone and color, but darker, definitely more purpley, more mauve than the first one. Same thing, little circle when I dip, and I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna do the exact same thing, right over the first one. See, so now you kind of start seeing that color difference. Maybe try to uh, focus it more into the crease than I did the first one, but meh.
All right, and then for the next step, pretty much the exact same thing, but I'll focus it almost entirely into the edge. Um, so I take the E25 and dip it into, and this one has more of a gray undertone, and this one is shimmer, the other two are matte. And it's prom night. more uh, windshield wiping motions on this one than anything because I want it focused in that crease. And the same thing when I dip it, a little circly. So then I'll take usually the E40, sometimes another kind of a smaller fluffy brush, but I think the E40 probably works the best. And just go back in and buff it. Just to get rid of the harshness there. So, at this point, sometimes I will put on, cause see how it's like lighter now on the lid? I kind of, I think that's pretty. Um, so sometimes I'll take a white color um, and put it in there. Um, if I want to go more dramatic, I will go and move on with the next one that we're going to do today. And this one, uh, also shimmery more of a deeper purple eggplanty and it's sensuous. So this one I take a flat eyeshadow brush, uh, pat it in there twice. I always start with that inner corner, blend it back. Two more little pads, start at this side, come this way. And then just kind of dig it into the crease there. Kind of starts helping to blend it all together. And then blend the two sides together into the middle. Then I'll usually pat it one more time and then pat this all on here to get it nice and pigmented. And then the other side, pat to pat. Start in the corner, blend it back. And okay, all done. So now I usually just clean up the edges here. I always have some Q-tips here in my vanity drawer. Mary Kay makeup remover. <laughs> you can do the tape thing. Um, whatever works. And I just line it up, you know, with my eye line here. And whoop, make a line. And clean up all that. I feel like my eyes are different. Like, I feel like this one's more slanty than this one. I don't, it's not, but I can't like get the angle right on it ever. Maybe I should do the tape thing. 
I also always have these little uh, circular cotton pads. Um, fold it in half. Makes a nice straight line, you know. I'm kind of finished cleaning it up like that. Now for some eyeliner. Now to get my favorite little mascara here. I just love how like how this feels in your hands. It's just like so heavy and weighty and like cool and metally. I love how long the wand is. It's just it's so long. So we'll see how my eyelashes turn out since I had a bunch of mascara on earlier. Hopefully it doesn't clump a lot. Yeah, a little bit. So I kind of blink into the brush to run my lashes completely through the brush. Otherwise I kind of zigzag it up to spread them out. Mm, this side's gonna want to clump. Um, but I focus mostly on the outside because I want to create a cat eye look. So I coat them all the way across and all the way in, but then I'll spend a lot more time here on the outside just doing like an extra few layers to thicken them up and lengthen, the, lengthen them more than the inside for that cat eye look. And I run the brush along the top of them. If, I don't know if you saw me do it on this side, like right there, because I feel like that does add more length and now the lashes are coated on both sides, so they're also thicker. Okay, so normally what I would do is now put in my foundation um, and my concealer and set it and then come back in and do my under eye um, but since I'm just showing you this go-to eye look, I'm going to do that, the under eye part now. And then I will go and finish my face completely off camera, come back and show you that finished look. So I just take, um, usually a flat brush, maybe the one that I used earlier and kind of go back in with the more middle color. Ooh, so unexpected. Again, and just dip the edge in again. <laughs> and run that along the bottom. I'm pretty sloppy about it. Same as the top, it kind of gives it a, like a base coat. And then whatever is my like darkest or main, maybe my lid shade on the top, I pretty much always just do that on the bottom. So same brush, dip it right in edge there. Um, and just same thing, go like this. kind of buffing motions, very not specific. And that kind of smokes it out a little bit. 
I do this day or night. I'm really not a like, oh, this is my daytime look and now I have to go home and get ready for my nighttime look. I just wear that shit all day. I might come home and touch it up or something, but um, I really don't change in between. I don't care if I have a dramatic look during the day. I like it. So that's pretty um, light and a little smoky. Not crazy or anything. What I do like to do sometimes, sometimes it's most of the time, just depends. I go back and forth. Um, I'll put on like in that buffing motion that lighter color and then instead of doing the darker color in that buffing motion as well, I'll take a little more like thicker, denser um, brush and dip that into that darker color and then just pretty much like line my eye and just drag it in from the outside corner to the in but kind of stop lightly drag it as you get in more so it's more intense on the outside and so yeah I just think that that bottom is really necessary. I think it connects the entire look together. Um, maybe that's the difference between more of a daytime and a nighttime look. Because um, it looks it looks really good without it as well. You really don't notice, but once you put that on, you're like, okay, I can tell the difference. Like that looks so much better. I can totally tell. So. I definitely like it. I forget a lot of the time. Like I said, I put on my foundation and everything first, so I, I'll forget. And then I leave the house and I look in the mirror and I immediately notice and I get so pissed. So, um, same thing with like the bottom lash mascara. That's why I just do it along with the top lashes because otherwise I'll forget. And I think that it looks weird when you don't line your bottom or put mascara on your bottom lashes. It makes your eye big, eyes bigger and it puts it together. If you have it on the top, you should have it on the bottom. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my eyeliner there, uh, finish the rest of everything, and come back and show you that finished look. Okay, so here it is, the completed final look. Um, I will list everything in the details down below. I contoured, I highlighted, I put on blush. I didn't do any bronzing. I put on lipstick. I went ahead and went with a lighter pink to kind of tie the purple dark eyes together with my hot pink shirt hair. Um, and I did hot pink cheeks. Um, even the highlight that I used is um, more of a pinkish tone. Actually, it's super pink on the tone from Bobbi Brown. Um, just to tie all those colors together. I got my camera angle set up pretty bad this time, but as I was doing everything I realized um, you're going to see it in the intro too. So maybe this is a little closer and you have a little bit more light on it. I got the natural light here and I got this fake light over here so you probably can see a little better on this side uh, maybe the details and how things look. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, anything else that you want to see, like maybe how I do the face instead, or um, anything, uh, comment below. I know not that many people watch, but one of you can comment, or maybe somebody new. So anyways, thanks for watching.